Welcome traders to another Tick Mill Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing Monday the 5th of December. Okay, let's jump into the data slate for the week ahead. Uh, this afternoon in the US we will get uh, services PMI data and uh, non-manufacturing ISM, which is looking to come in at 53.5 below the last reading of 54.4, but still technically in the expansion zone. We'll also get October factory orders looking for 0.7% print there. Uh, really S&P Global materially weaker than the ISM pointing to clear downside risks for the manufacturing sector. Capital investment is also likely to be subdued through the third quarter. Heading into Tuesday, we get the October trade balance looking for a negative 77 billion there. Import prices and demand are starting to ease. Heading into Wednesday, Q3 GDP, uh, sorry, Q3 productivity, 0.3% final estimate for that reading. And then on Thursday, we will get October consumer credit, looking for 26.5 there. High rates to weigh over the coming year on the appetite for consumer credit in the US. We'll also get emission of jobless claims, remaining at relatively low levels around that 200K mark. And then rounding out the week on Friday, November PPI, looking for 0.2% there. Annual producer inflation is easing from those record highs. We'll also get October wholesale inventories, final estimate 0.8%. And rounding out the week with December University of Michigan sentiment, looking for a 568 print there. Pressure from inflation and rates still dominates the headlines. From a technical perspective, the dollar index has uh, traded through our target. We were looking for a test last week of that 104.40. We, uh, we hit that in the overnight session. And what I'm looking for now is a three-way corrective move back into the trend channel resistance. So something in this 105.50 area, watch for bearish reversal patterns there to redeploy shorts. Looking then for a test of this uh, weekly projected uh, trend line support in the midpoint of the broader ch uh, channel that we've been trading in. Uh, looking for 102.90 as the next downside objective. At this stage, we'd really need to get a close back through the uh, 107.90 area to suggest a more meaningful low is in place. Moving to the Eurozone. In terms of the data for the week ahead, uh, we don't have anything on tap uh, tomorrow. We have uh, Wednesday then, Q3 GDP in the eurozone looking for 0.2 percent that's the final estimate and that uh, that rounds out really a pretty light data slate uh, for the eurozone this week we have had some pmi data out this morning um, and that's coming broadly in line with expectations uh, october retail sales negative so far this year weakness is broad based in that uh, sector with um, the recent rise in rates in the eurozone pressuring consumer appetite. We still have obviously the ongoing conflict um, in the Ukraine. So from a technical perspective, the euro dollar, we're still looking for a test of this 106.20 area, which coincides with this weekly projected trend line resistance. From there, I'm looking for a three-way corrective move. Uh, certainly think about a retest of 103.60, potentially down to 103 at this stage. If we take a close back through 102 to suggest a more meaningful high in place. Uh, for now, we're looking for further upside in uh, in the euro here. Uh, once we get this initial test of the uh, those 10620s, then we look to reload on the long side after a three wave corrective move. Into the UK, in terms of data for the week ahead, what do we have? Um, again, pretty light slate. Um, in the UK, services PMI, final lesson at 48.8 uh, out this morning. And that is the only tier one uh, piece of data that we're going to see from the UK this week. Uh, there is some, uh, the British Retail uh, Consortium will on Wednesday release their unofficial uh, first indication, first look at retail sales. Uh, for November. Obviously important as we're heading into the festive sh shopping season. So this will give the first indications potentially of what uh, what markets can look to expect in terms of consumer sentiments and consumer appetite uh, for spending as uh, obviously still dealing with this cost of living crisis in the UK and, uh, and recent rate rises. 
continue to weigh on housing and uh, and the consumer's wallet. So it's going to be interesting to see what that uh, that survey gives us. So from a technical perspective, sterling uh, traded through our target last week. We we're looking for one twenty two fourteen. We have achieved that. So what we're looking for now is as we test into this 123.60, I'm looking for some consolidation here, three wave corrective move. And we'll take another look at this trend line support, uh, trend channel support, these prior highs back into that 121.50. If we find uh, more buyers stepping in there, then we'll be looking for bullish reversal patterns to engage on the long side. Next target on the upside is going to be this 124.90 and 125 should be should become the magnet there. At this stage, we really need uh, a close back through this daily trendline support 118.90 to suggest the potential for a more meaningful high in place. Moving to Japan, in terms of uh, data for the week ahead, um, Tuesday, October household spending, percentage year over year, last time 2.3%, markets anticipating a 0.9% print. Uh, real spending capacity is under significant pressure into year end. And then on Thursday, we get the October current account balance for 605.4 billion yen versus last time, uh, 909.3 billion uh, surplus under pressure from that weekend, which has been uh, correcting in recent weeks. So from a technical perspective, with respect to the dollar yen, we have achieved all, uh, the 133.98 target. So our next target on the downside now, we're looking for a test into 132.15. So I'm looking for any pullbacks initially into this 136.20, watch for bearish reversal patterns there to engage on the short side, looking for that move down towards 132. If the pullback extends, I'd certainly be paying very close attention to any test of the 137.70 and uh, any reversal patterns from there would also be an opportunity to engage on the short side. At this stage, we'd really need to see a close through trend channel uh, resistance coming in 139.50s to suggest a, uh, a more meaningful low and a broader corrective phase to develop. Down under in Australia, we will get uh, the Q3 current account balance on Tuesday. Looking for a 6.2 billion uh, balance there. Trade surplus narrows after reaching record levels in Q2 of this year. And then we will have the all important RBA policy decision with the markets anticipating another rate rise. Tightening cycle continues, responding to the inflation challenge. Looking for a 3.1, uh, 3.10% level on, uh, on Tuesday from the RBA policy decision. Then into Wednesday, we get Q3 GDP, looking for 0.7% print there versus a 0.9% last time out. Domestic demand growth remains robust in, uh, in, in Australia. And then into Thursday, October trade balance, looking for 12.1 billion versus 12.4 last time out. Another sizable surplus supported by the LNG export revenue. We'll also hear from RBA Assistant Governor, uh, Jones speaking at an uh, FIRN conference in Sydney on Thursday. And that rounds out the data down under for this week. In terms of the technical setup, we have, uh, we've been trading around this target zone that we had the 6760s, 6770s broke out into the back end of last week. We're consolidating again. What I'm looking for now is a test of this 6890. From there, I'm looking for any pullbacks back into the trend channel support and the pivot here, 67.60s, to re-engage on the long side. And we are looking now for a test of the 70 level, got weekly projected range resistance coming in just below there, 69.95. And that concludes the weekly market outlook for week commencing December the 5th. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.